Hello and welcome to my new video and in today's video we are going to rate GTA Online mod menus for 2023. Uh, before we start I just want to say that in my opinion GTA became unplayable because of the amount of modders and Rockstar not giving a single fuck and it's sad but it is how it is. Anyway let's start with the tier list. I'm using tiermaker.com as always. Also couple of menus has exited in last year, so they won't be in here anymore. Anyway, let's begin with Midnight. It's a really decent menu with good protections and good options, so it is going into great tier, because I really like using this menu. Next one is Circuit. This is a budget menu with more basic options, with no really good protections and stuff, so it will go into not cool tier. Third is to take one, and we all know this is the god of GTA modding, and this menu is here for a really long time. Only disadvantage is the price, really. But based only on performance, I will put it into best buy for real tier. Following with X cheats, personally, I haven't tried this menu. I only asked people about their experience, and I would put this menu in not cool tier. Now we have new way menu and I haven't tried this menu as well but again it has pretty good reviews so it's going into mid tier. Next we got rebound menu here and this is one of the bigger projects out there and it is well known for its good performance and options. But I tried it today for the first time and I literally loaded online on like I don't know fifth try and I was constantly desynced, kicked or crashed, so I was a bit disappointed. However, this could be only my PC issue, so I will put it into great tier thanks to remote recovery and remote account editing features that it has. Let's move on to Soviet menu, and I tried this menu. I also did a review on it, where it got 82 out of 100 points, and it put its in not cool tier. You can watch the review if you want, I will put link in the description. Alright, following it Phantom X, and I'm sure you all know this menu. So let's not make this any longer, Phantom X will get great tier. Next is X Force, and I want to stop here for a bit. I saw many people uh, not liking X Force for a long time, and I understand that, but for the last half a year, it's going amazing. In my review video it got 95 points out of 100, which is great, and it is comparable with menus as Stand or Do Take One, so this menu is really underrated, I think. And now Stand. This is the best selling menu for last year, so if you are looking for a menu and don't have Stand, buy it. It's worth it, really. Let's continue with Cherex. It has been around here for a long time and it is a well rated menu for its great protections and trolling options. So I will put it into great tier. Oh yeah, Ovix. It's a cheap ass menu. Um, not much to say about it. It just belongs into garbage tier. I also decided to put Disturbed in this list as well because it has been re-released again. It's definitive it's not going to have the same hype as it used to have, but it can be pretty decent menu now. Let's let's give it a mid tier. And now, the biggest joke you will see in this video. Just fragment. A $40 menu with less options than like $10 menus. I say this menu is a joke, so I don't recommend to buy it. And I'm deciding between not cool tier or garbage tier, but Really, it's it's really bad. So I will I will give it not cool tier at least for the recovery options. And now we are slowly going to an end. Utopia, nice recovery menu with pretty decent options and stuff. I personally like it, so let's put it into great tier. And the last one is Victory, which I don't know well, but I heard it is not bad. So let's put it into mid tier. Actually. I've decided to put one more in here, and that is Nord menu. 
and Node developers recently added few new features that can cause a lot of trouble to Rockstar games. The many users can basically remotely ban your account by using uh, remote editing features. They can add or remove your money or delete your character and some other stuff. Uh, it just proves that Rockstar doesn't care about GTA anymore. For the great work of Node developers, let's put them into great tier. Anyway, these recent features of Nord and Rebound can cause a lot of trouble to Rockstar games and people that are still playing GTA legitimately. In my opinion, the game is not playable anymore because of the amount of murders and Rockstar having so shitty anti-cheat so people can mod the game a lot. I won't play GTA anymore and I suggest you not to play it as well until this is patched if you do care about your accounts. Right, anyway, this was my menu still is based on my opinions and it can vary from your preferences and experience, but I tried my best. Also, if you want to buy some of the best menus for GTA, you can visit my website paramount.xyz. So, this is going to be everything from me today. You take care guys and I see you in the next video.